folks. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is New Year's Eve. Boy, I hope next year is a better year than what it has been in 2024. But 2025 doesn't look like it's going to be good. We may have lockdowns, economic collapse, environmental um, issues, man-made or you know, natural. Who knows? But the latest news is that the bird flu... A patient had a virus mutation, sparking concerns about a human spread. A patient in Louisiana who was hospitalized with severe bird flu illness was found to have a mutated version of the virus, the CDC announced last week. They're saying that the fact that the virus mutated within the patient suggests that it could potentially spread from human to human. Yeah, so would this person be a Contagion A, the first one that's going to spread it around the world? Yeah, how did it mutate within the human? Where did he catch it from? Or she, whoever it was. Yeah, we all know where bird flu originally uh, came from, and it wasn't here in the United States, but it is evidently in every state of the U.S. The CDC analyzed samples of the H5N1 virus that were collected from the patient, comparing its genomic sequences to those affected dairy cows, wild birds, poultry, and other animals, the agency stated. The analysis identified low-frequency mutations in the hemoglutin gene of a sample sequence from the patient, which were not found in virus sequences from poultry samples collected on the patient's prop property, suggesting the changes emerged in the patient after infection, the CDC said. While those low-frequency changes are rare in humans, they have been reported in previous cases of A, H5N1, and other countries, and most often during severe diseases. Based on the discovery of the genetic changes in the virus, health officials recommended performing ongoing geomedic surveillance in people and animals, taking steps to contain bird flu outbreak among dairy cattle and poultry, and taking steps to prevent transmission when exposed to infected animals or environment. Uh, they're probably going to make us start wearing the masks and separate at least six feet apart, you know, sometime probably after the uh, inauguration. The CDC maintains that the risk of the general public is still low. The same mutations were not present in viral genomes sampled from the backyard birds that presumably infected the individual. Samuel Scarpino, director of AI and Life Sciences and professor of health sciences at Northeastern University in Boston, confirmed to the local news agency. Because the mutations were present in the human patient, but not in the backyard birds, this suggests that the mutations arose during the course of that individual's infection. Dr. Mark Siegel, clinical professor of medicine at NYU Lagon Health and a also a Fox News senior medical analysis, told Fox News Digital, uh, they shared their thoughts on the significance of this finding. Each human infection represents a spin of the epidemic roulette wheel. With mainstream media now pushing this, you can probably look forward to lockdown sometime after the new year. The last lockdown, what, four, almost four years ago, was probably a trial test to see how people would cooperate and what needs to be done for enforcement. They went on to say it is somewhat concerning that the H5N1 bird flu virus found in the Louisiana patient showed a mutation that allowed it to e enter the upper airways more easily in this patient. But this mutation has been seen before. So where has it been seen before? How did he catch the mutated version? The doctor said that the good news is that there has not been any reports of the Louisiana patient transmitting the virus to other humans. We know the mutations to look out for in terms of the potential to spread among humans 
based on previous research, Siegel said. It is important that surveillance among domestic poultry and dairy cattle is extensive, he added. Well, if it didn't come from dairy cows and it didn't come from birds, where did it come from that they said they have seen it before? Was it a lab? I don't know. Scarpino said that while the mutations are concerning, they likely do not re represent an increased risk to the public. Similar events, mutations arising during infection that increase the risk in humans, occurred with the individual who was infected with the H5N1 from wild birds in Canada and had happened a number of times during previous H5N1 outbreaks outside of the U.S. and Canada, he said. The doctor cautioned, however, that the more opportunities the virus has to infect people, the more likely similar mutations will occur and spark a chain of transmission in humans. He said we need to take active steps to eliminate H5N1 infections in agricultural populations and better understand why so many wild birds continue to be infected, but they don't have this new mutation, at least not yet, um, which means yeah, egg prices, the price of beef and chicken are going to go up probably sky high next year. I found a research paper about the spread of H5N1 into different types of seafood. This paper was published in 2012, and it comes from the uh, um, area of the Nile Delta, Egypt. It says it was found in red swamp crawfish, Mediterranean cone shell, and puffer fish. They also have catfish listed here. So I'll give you a link to this. It'll be down below in the more information box. It comes from ResearchGate. It says detection of avian influenza H5N1 in some fish and shellfish from different aquatic habitats across some Egyptian provinces. Yeah, 2012. So this was almost 12 years ago. Interesting. February of 2012. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like. Please share. Make sure you're still subscribed. Sometimes people, for some reason, get unsubscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.